Hey, what's going on, social media family? I have a very, very good word for you today, and I need you all to be super mature when I talk to you. I want you to really take a good, hard self-evaluation about this video. I know when I received this word from the Lord, I sat down and took a long, hard look at myself and really do the best of my ability to position myself with God to allow God to do what he needs to do in me so I can be the best version of me to accomplish everything he's called me to be. And that is by having a close, intimate, personal relationship with the Holy Spirit, okay? So as I was just praying, you know, the Lord was speaking to me about the very end of 2022 and and getting into 2023, and the Lord has been speaking to me probably about, I'm going to say 1st of December, um, about preparing for what the Holy Spirit wants to do. And it's just been an ongoing process. Of, and so the word I got for you today, I heard this real plain in prayer recently, but it was build according to the Holy Spirit. I mean, is that plain? That plain, build according to the Holy Spirit. And so when you hear something like that, you have to have a close personal relationship with the Lord because it's not about anything else besides building according to what he wants you to build and what he says to build. And so you, you got to understand that. Okay, so I'm going to give you a few scriptures on building according to the Holy Spirit. I just want to let you know, you're not going to be able to, to follow another business model, another ministry model, another marriage model. Yeah, you can get advice. You know, the Bible says there's safety in the multitude of counselors, but where you're going, you're going to have to be able to have your own blueprint. Okay. Luke 14, 28. So don't follow me without considering what the cost will be. For who of you construct a house before setting down first and estimating the cost of it completely? Before you pray wild, crazy prayers like, God, do anything in me. God, use me for your glory. God, I'll go anywhere. God, I'll do anything. You're going to need to count the cost before you pray radical prayers. Because the word says, that God is looking to and fro, looking for somebody who he can show himself strong upon that person, which means he's wanting to pour vision, purpose, and destiny on somebody. Okay? Yep, yep. Next scripture, Matthew 16, 18. 16, 18. And I also say to you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. What the Lord is saying is the same thing for you. Your gift, talent, ability that he's given you, he wants to build his church upon the gift that he gave you. The gift that you gave you is just not for you to make finances, but for him to build the church upon. And as we, we, we roll into 2023 strong, you better understand this one thing by the Holy Spirit. The marketplace anointing is going to be strong. You're going to see a lot of signs, wonders, and miracles done in the marketplace. Now, I'm going to give you one of my favorite scriptures when it comes to building with the Holy Spirit. And I hardly ever, ever, ever hear people preach on this scripture. And I preach it all the time. It is Proverbs 24, 3 and 4. Wise people are builders. What is the prophetic word I'm talking about? Building according to the Holy Spirit. This scripture says wise people are builders. They build families, they build businesses, they build communities, and through intelligence and insight, their enterprises are established and endure. Now, hang on. Enterprises is multiple ministries and businesses together. One of the prophetic words I received uh, probably about a year ago was, I won't go into the whole thing, but People kept saying Dawson Enterprises. They said, Joe, you're going to have to keep doing more. And so my wife and I, we have multiple ministries and, and then we have multiple businesses. And so enterprises, and he's blessing them because it's his word. 
I want to be a wise person. So I need to build according to what he gives me. And my enterprises will last. Now, what's cool about that is I was talking to my kids recently and I said, hey, uh, just for fun right now, if you could take anything that we have for us to give to you in the will, what would it be? And everyone chose something different. They, they chose a different business or a different ministry. And I have enough businesses and ministries, they can each pick a business and a ministry because wise people are builders. Tracking with me? Okay. Wise people are builders. They build families, businesses, communities, and through intelligence and insight, their enterprises are established and they endure. Endure. Big word right there. And it says, because of their skilled leadership, the hearts of the people are filled with treasures of wisdom and the pleasures of spiritual wealth. Wise people build other leaders. They don't build followers. Wise people are going to build other leaders. Build according to the Holy Spirit in 2023. Very powerful. Very powerful word right there. So, what are you going to build? One of the, the things I, I love is uh, like in our health coaching, we have about 275, 80 coaches fluctuating those two numbers about, about that area. I love helping people to build entrepreneur, uh, their own health coaching business to set their families up, to help a lot of people get healthy. Um, you know, I love helping people and I love teaching family. I love talking about family. I, I love helping people build communities. Um, I go to different ministries and, and help them build a community. I love doing that stuff. And so I just want to invest my life where people are hungry for God and they're wise and they're building. If you're wise and you build, you're unwise and you tear down. Understand that. Okay. Hey, if you need prayer, go to the website. If you want information about our health coaching business, I can help you build a business. Message me. Both of them on the website, jojodawson.net. Go to the contact button, hit it. You'll see prayer requests and health coaching. I would love to partner with you in prayer or in business, whatever it may be. Love you guys and be wise and go build what God put in your heart.